okay. I was like, <laughs> I'm just gonna check. I wasn't sure you even pushed it. Hey guys, we're just waiting to see if we're live. If you can hear me, hear Emily. Oh, I have an ad, so I bet that means we're live. Okay, I'm gonna start. Mm -hmm. Hey friends, welcome to my studio. I am so happy you're here. It's Wednesday, Friends Day. I can't say that <laughs> without chuckling because it makes me happy. I'm so glad you're here. I probably just said that. Uh, today, we're gonna be working on a screech owl. I found this on Unsplash, the link to the, um, I think Steve Harvey is the photographer. Um, if you ch click the link in the video description, uh, you can see it, but it's kind of cross-eyed. And I think I mentioned in the last live that I changed his eye a little bit because his eye is really dilated on this side and it kind of is a pear shape and I rounded it out, but you can change it back to the way you want it. Here's what the traceable looks like. Okay, I'm gonna grab the phone and we're gonna work on my art table right behind me today. So we're gonna go for a little ride and I'm gonna stick you in another <laughs> video arm. Okay, I never know how to grab it though, so I don't. Yeah, anyway. just the bottom is probably the best. Yeah. And then we're gonna take all the cords with me. <laughs> I hope this is fun. Take a little video ride. Oh, of course, it's a little bit different than how I set it up. Okay, I'm going to move the cords here, Em. It looks good, though. Yeah, do you need to tape them up? Well, I just need to move them. I have, a, that I have way. a piece of tape, too. <laughs> we're, all tang <laughs> we're all tangled in cords. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Okay. I think I'll just move. I'm probably switch. shaking it by taping it. But. Yeah. That's okay. I shook it a lot when I moved it. There you go. So I got started on this just because the background, I'm assuming, isn't nearly as interesting as the owl. And I've got some um, brushes out, a number one, Simply Simmons. Pretty sure this is a number four, Royal Langnickel uh, Bright. Ah, somebody on YouTube, Emily, I can never remember what, which is which uh, brights or flats or mm -hmm. the flats are longer and the brights are shorter. Oh. So like, yay. Now I have to remember, but somebody told me, so I was really happy about that. And number 12, Filbert. I don't know if I'll use this one because it's got a lot of little detail. Um, this is a Royal Lane nickel. And then a liner brush that's, oh, I remember this liner brush from the last time I worked on my, my art table. It's, I need a new one. It's not holding its shape. Okay, and then for colors, oh, I did show you the traceable. Here's the actual traceable I used. So I cut it out, I printed it out for my website, cut it out, scribbled uh, brown chalk pastel on the back of it, and then traced it with a ballpoint pen. Well, I don't know if that makes sense. I taped it to my 6x6 six six canvas panel after I did all those things and then traced it with a ballpoint pen. Let's see, let's jump to colors, I think. I was wondering if that was going to be loud. <laughs> While you're pulling out your colors, we have uh, Rescue Auntie, Bonita, Anita, Suzanne, oh. and Tammy in the chat. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Hi, guys. Thank you. Thank you for coming. You just make our day all the time. Thank you so much for all your support. It's just amazing. I'm trying to figure out where to put. I don't know if you can hear Freckles meowing. She's here. <laughs> She's here in the studio. She's a little cranky today. She was laying on her microphone cords. Okay. Oh, my colors. Titanium white. So I have some Turner's yellow from a project that I did for Emily. I don't know how many years ago, Em. Oh, geez. I don't know. I don't yeah. know either. It doesn't matter. I've had, that, I've had that painting at least since I've lived in my current apartment. So well, I don't know how many three. tubes you bought. This is my last tube and it's getting old, <laughs> but I'm almost out of it. Um, you could just use regular yellow, put a little... Uh, raw sienna and a little burnt umber, just something to tone it down. And I have burnt umber. And I mentioned the titanium white. I have raw sienna. I was thinking maybe a little red oxide for um, Screech. But really, he's, he's pretty, even in my printout, he's pretty close to a raw sienna. And then I have Mars Black. Was that Freckles? No, it was your plastic gallon baggie. Oh, okay. It slipped to okay. the floor. Do you want me to grab it? No, that's okay. fine. 
And so you can see here, I was mixing uh, Turner's yellow and burnt umber and a little bit of black to make the background. First I painted the whole background Turner's yellow and then I painted this sort of portrait looking background. All right, anything else I need to say? Did I set the table? Are we ready to roll? I think we're ready. <laughs> I love that you answer. <laughs> um, Tammy says she received her pumpkin painting that she won and it's even more beautiful in person. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> Freckle says thank you as well. <laughs> <laughs> she said you right to your microphone. Yeah, yeah, she was like looking right at me, so it was right in the mic. So I like to start with the eyes because to me they're the, one of the most important things. This is a pet portrait basically, even though it's a screech owl. I had to Google to figure out what kind of owl it was. I did not know. So a kneaded eraser is just a soft eraser that you need like bread. Um, they're like a dollar. I don't know. I haven't bought one in a while. When I taught in-person watercolor classes, I'd give each student a needed eraser because it's inexpensive. Stop. And Freckles is <laughs> Freckles. giving Emily a hard time. Because <laughs> um, it's kind of fun to play with. I don't know if you guys remember Silly Putty, but it's a lot like that. I think I saw a video somewhere, too, that you can technically... Not every eraser is good for it, but you can technically make your own by, um, huh. like, er using an eraser on... Um, adhesive so it could be like I think it, the in the video they were using the masking tape is that the yellow tape the yellow tape yeah. is the masking tape yeah and um, they uh, just erased on top of that and it all the little crumbles that come off you can then because it also gathers the adhesive then you can make it into an aided eraser interesting I think I just spent the dollar <laughs> yeah, I would spend the dollar too, but <laughs> <laughs> after your whole story, I kind of, I kind of, I don't know what, what word, I'll say crap. Can I say crap on YouTube? I kind of crap on it. <laughs> you rained on my parade. I rained on your parade. I did not know you could do that. I think you should try it, Em. So I'm gonna I I'm gonna want the eyes more yellow. I when I googled screech owls, their eyes can be more yellow than they are in this photo. And so I'm not sure actually why I'm painting them white because they're quite yellow now. I think it's out of habit because uh, yellow is a transparent color. But I wonder if I am doing that. And I don't need to. And especially up there. Or actually, I'm going to want some darker yellow. I think I was just doing that out of habit. Don't do as I or do. Do as I say. I can tell I'm thinking. Actually, I don't mind the white on there. It kind of brightens it up a little bit. Maybe we'll go a little... My paint's kind of thick. Just grabbing a little water because I've got Oh, as I said, this is kind of old paint. Sometimes you'll know it's old because it'll feel sticky. It'll look a little lumpy. It just, um, I think the Liquitex website says that their paints last five to seven years, depending on the condition. But since it's been a while since I read that, I'm not totally sure. Okay, I'm not totally unhappy that I even started how I didn't really need to. No, I'd be kind of fun. I'm going to mix it more over here. Kind of make a little bit of an orangey. Oh, 
I noticed um, several people already downloaded the owl. So that's really fun. I decided to do the owl because it just reminds me of Halloween and fall. The color's not really showing. Grab a little raw sienna straight up. So sometimes eyes, I mean, in the reference photo, it's kind of gray looking, but they kind of have like a little darker color, at least around part of the pupil. And if I don't like it, we'll just paint it out. Oh, I just saw my um, I just saw my phone flip. It must have been you hitting enter and then responding to somebody. Oh, because I didn't really I forgot that you know I haven't done this um, mm -hmm. above so, yeah. yeah above for quite a while. I forgot mm -hmm. that. <laughs> I'm like my phone just did some. <laughs> yeah, I think you can actually like if you look above there, you can see the chat, but it's probably not a comfortable view for you. Yeah. Well. Oh, Chase made his appearance with four ninety nine. Oh, Chase, man. <laughs> no goat this time, though. No, oh, well. <laughs> no little cute goat emoji. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you, thank you, Chase. You're spoiling me, and I love it. Thank you so much. It's so nice of him to come. I assume it's his lunch hour. Oh, the goat popped into the chat. That's because you shamed him. <laughs> yeah, I, I called him out, so he had to throw it in there. So I'm getting putsy already. Let's uh, speed this up a smidge. I like to I like to go slow. I like to relax. I would I uh, been working. I was working on the three cows. If you watch the other lives, we did a one and a two part on the three cows. I'm painting. We decided to call it Mavis in the middle, <laughs> and it just you know sometimes I'm frustrated because I'm like oh I don't like that or I don't you know it's not what I want kind of thing but it doesn't really get me too upset because I know I can fix it eventually I'll get it it's relaxing me but the whole point is I'm almost done with the first round I'm working on the last cow's face and then the next part will go quicker because I'll just I'll take a bigger brush and put in some fun stuff and I have I put in just a few touches of white to see how that's looking I'm getting starting to get excited about it. But the first round through is finding a bunch of shapes and lines, and it's a lot of work. I, gonna, I think it's going to turn out well. I'll, we'll post the whole live video. I don't know when, because I haven't even finished the painting yet. Or not live video. We'll post the complete video. And the full time lapse, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I pop it in chat. Oh, you do? Yeah, I guess this is a long one. It's not like a... One of the smaller ones that we've time lapsed I after pop, we've done it alive. Yeah, I pop it in chat. Just when I think of stuff. I kind of like what I'm doing there. It's kind of funny. We'll see if it works. Just kind of blending it out a little bit. So, Emily, should I talk about our robber? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been robbed multiple times. It wasn't as, it wasn't that bad of a robbery when I, on Sunday. Was I that? caught the robber when I opened the front door yesterday. Oh, you did? I did. In the morning or at night? Um, or middle of the day? Uh, about 4 p.m., 5 4 p.m. <laughs> so I bought pumpkins at the grocery store recently, and I put one pumpkin on our front step. <laughs> and so I have a bird feeder out back, and... It's pretty much I'm feeding the squirrels in hopes of seeing some birds because the squirrels, I mean, we could try, I suppose I could try to buy something to, I don't dislike the squirrels. I just dislike that they eat on my feed so fast. I don't see any birds. Um, we've got, actually, I'm going to digress a little bit here. We've got one squirrel, squirrel I call Spaz because it plays on the tree swing. <laughs> it jumps up and grabs a rope underneath this. It's just a long rope and a disc on the end of the rope hanging from the tree. And then there's a knot underneath the disc in there. The squirrel grabs a disc and swings. It's so funny. He just like he soars through the air too. When yeah, he, really he does. Gets he'll, going. Well, and he'll do like flips. So we call I call him Spaz because he just he'll be in the yard playing by himself, and his other squirrel friends are eating the seed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I don't know if it was Spaz, but I opened the front door, and there's this huge hole in my brand new pumpkin that's only been out there for a couple hours since I went to the grocery store. 
and the squ and the squirrel has its head in the pumpkin. I assume eating or getting goodies or <laughs> so we got robbed. We'll say Spaz did it just because I don't know. Yeah, there. It was just kind of like um, a nice <laughs> dent in the in the pumpkin on Sunday when I came over for dinner, and then now there's like seeds spilled out all over your front steps. That's true. I jumped straight ahead to the hole. At yeah. first, there was just scrapings. Yeah, they were just they were just trying to get in there, and then mm -hmm. now it's like there's seeds spilled everywhere out the back. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was just thinking I might want to put a little blue in the pupil, but I think I'll stick with black and maybe we'll just put a little brown in there. Maybe we'll put a little brown in it. Um, and I really don't mind. I mean, it makes me laugh. Mm -hmm. But it was so funny when I opened the door and it looks at me and then it hops down the steps and, mm -hmm. and it's like watching me to see if I'm going to come out. So then I kind of open the door a little bit and then it goes down a couple more steps. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, you want that pumpkin? <laughs> so I went outside and it went over to the neighbors. But it clearly came back. Okay, now I gotta quit talking so I can paint. <laughs> I haven't I haven't seen very many cardinals at the bird feeder since I took down the neighbor's huge I pine know. tree. I think they all left. Well, we did see one. Dad saw one. It wasn't one that we sometimes you can't tell if it's a new cardinal mm -hmm. or the same, but it wasn't one that we recognized. He was pretty little and big headed. Um, Bonita says she has free-range chickens, and they're pecking huge holes in her pumpkins oh. um, by her trellises, or by the trellis. I love, I mean, I've never, I've never had a chicken, you know, taken care of, but I love painting them. <laughs> I bet they do. They probably love the pumpkin. I, I think chickens eat table scraps, don't they? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Well, I had a friend a long time ago that... Her parents had a farm. There we go, I like that color. So it kind of looks ugly and I just kind of keep blending as long as it'll let me. Oh, here I suppose I could turn it. You could try not to turn it too much on you guys. And then if it just starts to fight me, I'll let it dry and I come back and try and paint it again. I haven't painted a chicken in a while. No, you kind of went through a chicken phase. Yeah, well. You kind of painted quite a few and then. The small chickens sell well, but I haven't done like a, like I'm doing the three cows is 30 by 40 inches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if you'd want I don't, to. Yeah, a massive chicken. A massive chicken. Well, I suppose you could depending on the space. But. Yep, Bonita says chickens eat just about anything. Huh. So. I remember the eggs she used to bring me at work were just to die for. They were so good. And I think that's when she told me that they fed them table scraps. Well, I think the people at the entrance to the neighborhood have chickens. Yeah, they, they have at least one have a coop. coop. They have one coop. They have another coop sort of halfway under construction. I'm kind of improvising on this eye. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they, I haven't heard them though. I know, that's why I didn't know if they had them. Uh, but I also, uh, I'm driving by. I don't ever, I don't ever like have my windows down and <laughs> stop, roll real slow by to see if I can hear them clucking or anything. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I like that. That looks kind of funny. Yeah, maybe I should say, hey, new neighbor. get some free eggs. <laughs> or for a while, Jack's friend's mom was giving us some eggs. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. Jack is my favorite son. Emily's my favorite daughter. I think it annoys him, but I, that it actually makes me like it even better. <laughs> and if it doesn't annoy him, even saying that, you know, makes me happy because that might annoy him. I'm thinking I should just quit playing with it because I'm not really liking it. Maybe I'll put a little... I um, rarely like what I'm doing. And then I step back from it, work on something else. I'm like, oh, that's, that's pretty good. And so this owl, Chris, it's better on my iPad than the printout. Um, has a little bit of reflection right there I'm going to put in. Depending on how you use the reference photo, sometimes emphasizing what you see can actually help. It's one of the reasons why I like using the iPad. 
But then the iPad is a different problem. Like you can't paint a backlit image if you're trying to be really hyper realistic and exact. So that could drive you a little crazy. So that was probably under the category of too much information. No. Well, some artists say you shouldn't use something like an iPad because it is backlit. But like my printout is kind of kind of cruddy. It's not very. Yeah, your printer doesn't always behave. That's pretty good though. For that's pretty printer? good for my printer. Yeah. But the colors are more muted. Mm -hmm. Okay, leave it alone. I think before I mess with the color in the eye, um, oh, we should get the black on there too. We need to get more around it. <clears throat> Sorry guys, when I talk a lot, then my voice gets a little rough. We don't have a cough button on our mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I cut the mic, yeah. Yeah. Someday. Yeah, people won't hear me typing anymore. Cause it's not just an open mic. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind that. I guess I don't mind the typing. They know you're coming. Yeah. They can hear it. Oh, the squirrel story makes me think of my grandmother had a bird in the house. Um, I was in college, so she wasn't young. <laughs> and my grandfather's blind and really hard of hearing. I, I bet you could say he was deaf, too. So, I mean, he's no help, <laughs> you know? He didn't know there was a bird. Probably. Well, I don't, yeah, I actually don't know. But I, so my grandmother sent me a letter every day or every week, <clears throat> excuse me, that I was in college, and I got the funniest letter from her, and I don't think she was trying to be funny. I think she was super stressed out about this bird she couldn't get out of her house. You know, old tennis rackets, I don't know what all she tried. You know, opening windows, but you don't want another bird to come in. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I should have saved that letter. Where did she live? Did she live? In Council Bluffs. Oh, okay. Oh, it was that house that you showed me, okay. Uh -huh. Well, psh, where, where, where was Grandma and Gramps? Oh, well, they lived in Lincoln. I mean, if I was in college, they were they were not in the house they're now. Mm -hmm. Do you, you don't remember the other house? No. Jack We've driven by it, but I don't remember the other house. Yeah, by the golf course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, they're an hour away. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it only is funny. I wish I had the letter because I'm telling a story that's not really funny. But all the memory is. Oh, that was so stressful. <laughs> but I can hear her yelling at my grandfather. But of course he can't help. <laughs> you had a critter story, Em. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I, um, this isn't in my, like, I have little notes, you guys, in case it gets too quiet of what to talk about, and we're already off topic. Uh, I forgot about that. I don't think I'll forget, because, well, you can tell yeah. me. Yeah, um, so I used to, I just don't even know, oh, I guess I used to live in a apartment, and some of the units had fireplaces, so I'm assuming that's where the critter came from, and, um, it was, it's just like one long hallway and I think there's probably my unit, there's probably six units on a floor. And um, I was trying to, where was I trying to go? Class or work or something? I don't know. I don't remember. And um, something not that pressing because otherwise I think I would have just jumped over it and ran. <laughs> to, it, I must have been going somewhere casual and not having to worry about like my time. But um I, I think it was a weekend, maybe. Maybe. I So I, I'm going to leave, and I have all my stuff in my, like, hands. And I just open the door, and I look down, and there's this little, like, furry thing. And it's, like, no, it's like cr not crunched, but, like, it's trying to weasel its way, or at one point it's probably trying to weasel its way underneath our door. And um, I realize that what it is and I just slam the door shut thinking and then hoping that it'll also scare it and it was a bat it was this little bat 
that was trying to sneak its way into my apartment. It was probably in like somebody's unit and then they just let it into the hall and called it a day. Probably. And it, <laughs> probably I, your neighbor. <laughs> because there's, there are no windows in the hall. So, it, I mean, and there's not really like holes because all the hall, the hall is protected by every unit. So it's not like there are holes that it would somehow have probably crawled through. And, and uh, so I'm like, I don't know what to do. I assume it's alive it's, or I cracked the door open immediately after I think and I it's still there and it hasn't moved so I'm like okay it's maybe dead um and I so I didn't know like do I just put on a bunch of sweats and like <laughs> bundle up as much as I can and then like just try to scoop it up but I didn't know what to do so I panic called um my mom and I what do you call yeah Ghostbusters <laughs> like, yeah and I was like I there's a bat I don't know what to do what do I do and um I'm like I don't know and she's like I don't know and then all of a sudden Ann shows up <laughs> with a garden shovel and oh now they're gonna think I'm horrible yeah well <clears throat> and so she shows up with a garden shovel and she's you're wearing like long pants long shirt whatever and I think you have a trash bag too I don't remember but, totally. I remember um, the shovel. So I can see the parking lot where you park your car, and I just, I just see Anne walking into my apartment building with a shovel, and um, oh, I bet you thought, yeah. Well, I didn't think you were gonna. I didn't think you were gonna hit it or anything. I assumed you were just trying to get some distance between you and the, sh and the bat. Well, yeah, I could have rabies. And yeah, and so, and then I just hear her trying to scoop it up from outside of my apartment so that I can get out and help her and it starts screeching yeah. it's definitely like it hasn't had water or food for probably a long time so he's like weak but he starts screeching this high pitched screech and it's just enough where I get out of the apartment too and I'm I open all the doors for her that are left to get out and then we just plop him right in the grass near like a puddle of water in case that's what he needs and yeah I was like oh geez it was so something ate it or it, or it, it was it gone yeah yeah it recovered and it was gone it was gone by the time i came home a couple hours later so i assume it re hopefully it recovered because i assume what would eat a bat wouldn't be out during the day i don't know i don't know, I don't know. what would eat like an owl but needs becoming our animal person yeah, she'll be <laughs> she has the goats she has the chickens <laughs> but she has yeah. the donkey I named it once we plopped it down. Um, oh yeah, you we named, named it, it Stella Luna after the kids' book that's um, about a fruit bat. I think. Yeah, we became attached. It, yeah, it was a little cute. It was. I mean, aside from the fact that it could have something, it was a cute little bat. So when Jack was little, Stella Luna was one of his favorite books, and Graham got him a Stella Luna stuffed bat. Mm hmm Yeah. So yeah, it's Stella Luna. Yeah. It wasn't there when I got back home though. I probably should quit talking about it. We're going to have another critter story next week. Mm -hmm. You've got to bring it to us or however that works, you know, jinxes. I'm just putting in a few of these markings just because you can see I'm smearing the chalk pastel with my hand. Oh, that eye looks pretty good now that I'm not looking at it. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm going to figure that out. Cleaning my throat. All right, let's work on this other eye a little bit. I think the black works fine. I always, I like to put purple or blue and black quite often, but I think we'll stick with our limited palette here. You could easily put a little hint of blue in the eye, eyes. It almost always works. Okay. Oh, you know, I should look at my iPad. I'm looking at my photo and kind of straining. I'm like, I forgot I had my... Screech the owl on my iPad. Well, it's got a weird reflection. You might change that. <laughs> um, if you don't, don't panic. Just paint what you see in the photo if you don't feel comfortable changing it. That just comes with time practice. Dan says he's going to paint. He thinks his owl is going to be black. Is he going to do an owl? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he did a neat landscape. I caught part of it on Sunday. That's so funny, but I mean, you know. It is the season for owls. It is, and you know, I know other YouTubers that, or I think the Art Sherpa just did an owl. Mm -hmm. I was seeing, um, <clears throat> since I am logged into your account to upload the videos, I was seeing a suggestion or something, uh, just like 
I think on Monday when I was uploading a video and it and it was um, an owl. I don't know who it, who it was. I just saw an owl in the thumbnail. Yeah, yeah. it's not like you know. <laughs> it's owl season. The more owls, the merrier. Mm -hmm. I think it's funny. Well, and I was gonna zoom in on this owl and maybe just paint, you know. Well, the ears are kind of fun, so maybe like right in here. But he just, I don't know, he, 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 he just he. looks so cute. And I kind of like the ring around the neck, so I didn't crop in as much. But I thought it'd be easier, you know, the less you have to paint and the more focused you are, maybe on just the eyes and the beak, the easier it would be. But then I, I went for what I wanted. <laughs> the next, oh, here, as long as I'm thinking of it and I just started talking about it. Next week, the traceable is already up on my website. This one will be easier. And I even think I'm going to try to paint it quicker, a bigger brush, and maybe not even put all these lines in here, you know? Oh, and then we'll do a bow. I, I probably, I should do a separate video. Well, here, I'll even talk about it now. So just for the bokeh effect, you just paint a background and then just take a brush and a little bit lighter value and some matte medium, and you can... It shows it in my... Um, jellyfish video which I haven't mentioned in quite a while so maybe we'll just link to that video but mm -hmm. the traceable is already up there so this is what we're doing next week that'll be cute well and I think it'll be, it'll be easier than all the little detail that I tend to I like but probably drive a new painter crazy that I do that but also my channel is kind of like this is my artist life you know I'm getting ready for the new gallery we just did, had the gallery video that posts that video is doing pretty well Em did you see that for the gallery one? Yeah, I think it's got yeah. 200 and... And I was worried that it was only like two, three minutes long. Well, that's because like the Walmart video, which is longer, we didn't get as many views. I mean, it, we're yeah. learning what people like and are interested in. Um, but yeah, people like that one. But I've been busy painting bigger paintings. So that also shows up then in my YouTube videos because you can see what I'm working on. And that's usually why. I'm gonna need to uh, paint some stuff so I can send art to my agent. Got a few things. I can take the flower paintings, put bees in them in Photoshop and, you know, make it into a garden flag or something. But yeah, so this channel isn't just like, at least now, it'll change and evolve as you guys, you know, give us feedback too. But right now it's a little bit of, here's some traceables if you want to paint some fun things and here's how I do it. And Emily and I are goofy and like to hang out. And Emily's, or I was going to say crocheting. No, it is crocheting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> For a long time I was saying knitting and I actually got it right and then didn't trust myself. But I do like the feedback. I got a couple of good video ideas from you guys in the comments. I really appreciate that. Oh, I was painting the eye. I uh, switch gears when I switch gears. Let's go back to the eye. Um, Anita made the point that... Um, the iPad probably catches, uh, she says that she likes to use, um, with reference photos, she likes to use an iPad for more up close detail. Me too. You so yeah, you like what you your, zoom in. yeah, what your, um, your printout can't catch. You can see a lot better on your iPad. Yep. Well, my iPad is new. I was thinking about getting one, thinking about getting one, <laughs> you know, you know, they're expensive. But when I did the three large, what were those? 16 by 20 pet portraits. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I went and got my iPad, so I'm like, I need to be able to zoom in on those eyes. Yeah. They know what the eyes look like. Mm-hmm. So. So I'm so glad I did those pet portraits. And they also paid for the iPad. So that was really nice. My stomach's going to growl. <laughs> Get it? I it is 12.34 if you want to do. If I want to thank people. If you want to take a break when you can, and you can, yeah. We'll do our, what, um, I still need to, I need to find like a old clip on YouTube of like a PBS. I remember watching it as a kid, like, and brought to thank you for whatever it's like. Thank you for your support. Or it's like PBS brought to you by viewers by you. Thank you. Oh, viewers like you. <laughs> viewers like you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> do it. We could. A thank want, you break. That could irritate PBS. I don't know. <laughs> 
All right, I'm gonna play with this a little bit because I've already stopped once, and then okay. we'll get. See, and I don't. When I say I don't like it, it's not like I'm. I will. So I, I the reason I'm saying this is because people are like don't be hard on yourself. I'm like, oh no no no. You go, you you bounce as an artist between critic and artist. You know, and so that's all I'm doing. It's like eh, don't like that. I was like, oh, let's fix it. I'm gonna water my brush. Well, I like it because, I mean, if I were just like watching someone do time lapse videos only or something like that, or you, no one talks about it, I would just assume you love it the whole way. Because oh. to an outside eye, it probably looks good the whole way. Yeah, and I don't like, ever make a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> but like hearing you oh. be like, mm, I don't like that, like, then, it, then it's normal for others to think that way. Oh, gosh, yeah. There, that's starting to do a little, a little better. I think we'll leave it there because I also tend to overpaint. Um, but it, that's because I know I can fix it, you know, so it's, it's both good and bad. So my studio is warm and those paints aren't brand new. Okay, so this won't take long. <laughs> I just wanted to thank Bonita G, which I think she's still she in the chat. She is in the chat. Thank you, Great Big Art Hugs, for sending some money through PayPal. That just, I know, I, I think I always say it means the world to us. I mean, it helps. I am saving up for canvases now and watching Michael's for a sale. Because mm -hmm. I've been painting like a crazy woman. So I think that's the next thing. And I, we really appreciate it. And it also gives us, like, I get excited, like, this might work. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, we're getting six subscribers a day right now. Our views are going up. Mm -hmm. We're getting some money, a little bit of money for the ads, which, man, some of those ads are definitely ads you have to skip. Don't feel like you guys have to watch them. Some of those ads are like, <laughs> next. Sometimes, well, what yeah. I figured out is that you can buy an ad and stick a whole video in front of it. I know. Because I, I, I try to sit through your ads if I'm playing your videos or something. Yeah. And I'm like, this is an entire YouTube video. I know, like an hour long. Yeah. I'm like, no, skip. <laughs> and also I'm thinking of it, and I still have it in the plastic wrapper, but I'm thinking I'm going to put Screech. It's starting to look cute already because I've been working on the pupils. In a little 6 by 6 frame. Cute. This frame has a little bit of depth. Mm -hmm. It's got horrible glare. I'll take out the mat. Is there glass in there? Yeah, I, I usually, I was keeping the glass and now I toss it. I don't know what to do with it, you know? Yeah. Or recycle it. Yeah, they almost always come with glass. Because I think you're going to, they think you're going to You put a photo. picture in it, yeah. yeah. Oh, don't, um, so acrylic likes, I haven't said this in a while, likes to mm -hmm. stick to acrylic. So if you store paintings, um, put a piece of paper between them. Definitely don't store them face to face with nothing in between them. They'll eventually stick together and you can't get them apart, even though I've put um, a Liquitex varnish on here. That's just, it just will. Don't have it, if you want to have glass on it, have it like this. I can't tell where the glass is in here, but make sure the glass has got a little bit of breathing room between the painting and the glass, otherwise it'll stick to the glass. Um, the new gallery put one of my little paintings on a glass table, but it won't be there long enough. I already mm -hmm. sold two of them, so I don't think they'll be there long enough to stick. They're like, oh, you know, don't wrap a paint, don't wrap an acrylic painting in bubble wrap and ship it. <laughs> you might get lucky and it'll be fine and you might, it might arrive to the person and have uh, bubble mark, bubble wrap patterns on it. And I mean, that's a pain to try and paint out, paint over. Anyway, wow, that was a lot of tips. <laughs> it turned into a public service announcement. <laughs> it well, I, acrylic likes to stick to things, even yeah. when you varnish it. Oh, yeah. So. I noticed the new gallery has bubble wrap. Well, so did the old gallery. Okay, right. I got a brown paper wrap that first. Yeah. Well, if you use tissue paper, use the non-slick side of the tissue paper. That too? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking about big ones, you know? Yeah. It's a lot of tissue paper. Usually brown. I've always seen them brown paper oh, wrapped. Paper it. Yep, the yeah. cheap stuff. Like we had when we worked at the pottery place. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, look at those. I mean, I could be done really. The eyes are like. Yeah, those are cute. I love the eyes. He needs a name. Screech. 
Oh, it's Screech? Yeah, or we can come up with an actual name. If someone, I've been calling it Screech the Owl because mm-hmm. I didn't know what to call it. But I, we should come up with a cuter name. Because we have Mavis in the middle with the I three like cows. I like the Mavis in the middle. I love that so much. Well, I think that's so funny because I was going to do Malcolm in the middle, but Mavis is. And you know what? She kind of looks like a girl. Mm-hmm. Definitely the one on the left looks like a boy. He's got a bigger head. Of course, he's closer. Yeah, I think because she looks, she looks small, so. Well, Gramps was saying that the bulls have broader faces. Oh. And then usually a ring in their nose, but none of them have rings, so I can't tell. So sometimes, like I did here, I'll paint some of the black markings so I don't lose them, and then I'll paint over them. Ah! And then um, I'll come back and put them back in. Or you make a mistake. You can just kind of, and like my painting's been sitting for a day, you can just kind of wash it off. That was a talking art tip. And a lot of times I don't use straight up black, but I think it just... I think this owl begs for it. So I have Oscar the cat, and we could have Oliver the owl. Oliver the owl. I was looking for synonyms of screech to see oh, who would just a, call it something else. That's better. I like, that's clever. I don't know if I like any of them. They're shriek, squeal, squawk. It's kind of funny. Howl, shout, yell. Mm, I don't know if I like any of them. Mm. Night owls are killers, kind of dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks too sweet, but that might be funny if you name something that's super cute and you name him Killer. killer. Actually, it might be kind of funny. Just like I, I feel like that's been done before in like movies or whatever, where it's oh, gosh, like yeah. the dog's name's Killer and it's just like a little baby Yorkie or something like that. I kind of like that. We'll see how cute he turns out. Oh, this owl had a name. Um, I think it was at like some California rescue place that the photographer took it. Oh. I think it was Riley. But it didn't say what kind of owl it was. It just said it was Riley the owl, or I think that's what it was at some California owl rescue. All right, let's. What should we work on next? Well, I guess I suppose I should work on the nose because the feathers go over it. And the nose is where I really want some blue. But I'm not going to put it out. But definitely you could put like a little touch of blue there, a little blue there. That can make, make it a little yummier. Sometimes I just keep telling myself, stick to your color palette. <laughs> it's not like I have to, I just... help you not to add colors. You know, to get a cooler gray, so I'm mixing my puddle, let's just grab some straight up Mars black. So now you can tell I've got a warmer gray and a cooler gray going. Oh, here. I haven't, see, I haven't done this kind of video in a little bit. You probably want to see. Oh, um, close up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would do that in some of the time lapse. My hand he's like he's staring you down is what it really looks like i think he'll sell too i like it when art makes me happy and that's too dark i do more mixing than painting but well, it's just because i like it i like to i have a thing for values there's got to be a i have issues i have value issues I don't know. I don't know how to word that. I like values. I haven't thought about it. I'm, now I'm thinking about your bat, Em. My bat? The bat story. I keep thinking about, I feel like the bat, I think I still worked at the gym in the daycare with the bat. And I think right around the bat, we had an issue with like, it was line, like bushes lined, we had windows that lined oh. the whole daycare. Yeah. And there were like tall hedges that sat in front of it. So you'd kind of have privacy in the daycare. Uh -huh. um, 
and uh, there, so there, and there's this little path that kids would like run through behind the hedges because they knew they could see their friends on the inside. And like once there was like a bird that had died and had died right in the path that a bunch of kids run and their parents don't go through that with them. So they would just run up on this bird. So I had to scoop it before. Oh, did you? Yeah, I just, I balled up trash bag. Like I had three trash bags in my hands and I I know you don't want to feel it. <laughs> I know, I did not want to feel it. When I asked the, the guy at the front desk and I was like, hey, how do you feel about scooping up this dead bird so these kids don't see it? And then he was like, no. <laughs> So I just got a bunch of trash bags and I scooped him up and then I just tossed him out. Oh God! But yeah, I had I had so many trash bags, so I wouldn't. I just felt a lump, so I didn't feel like him, you know. Yeah, but still, I, I'm with you. I don't want to feel it. Yeah. Bonnie is probably laughing because she's on a farm. We get used to all kinds of things. We're sounding like city. Yeah, city, city scaredy cats. Yeah. <laughs> or um, there was once um, a dead toad Oops, that I picked up. Aww. And it was, but it, w- it was like in the um, the studio at um, an interior design studio I worked at, and I was I think still an intern, and I <laughs> scooped him up and plopped him out. Yeah. Ugh. I I don't know if that was terribly afraid of bugs as a kid, but I didn't like them. You know, and then you have kids, so you have to be brave. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they don't panic. I'm like, oh, I just hate this. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I don't, think, I don't think you knew, did you? No, I didn't think you were scared of bugs. Yeah. I faked it. Well, and after a while, you kind of get used to it. I really don't like crickets because they crunch. Yeah, I don't like the crunchy ones bug me. The spiders don't really get to me anymore. Now you, you get enough of them, you kind of get used to it. Yeah, the garden level apartment really made me spider like everything that's the nothing will compare to those spiders that were in that apartment yeah, you had a lot of they you could i would suck them up with the vacuum and you'd hear them go through the tube <laughs> Bunk. like they're they were huge yeah, you had some big ones well and then you know you shouldn't do that because if they live then they lay eggs in your vacuum cleaner and then you you know you just grow more spiders mm. I don't know if anybody's like, we can change the topic. <laughs> <laughs> Never know where we're going to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm kind of putsnick it. I need to quit on this bee because I've got enough of it in to know what I'm thinking. You know, I should eat a little something before the lives. Yeah. He's That's, hungry. Well, yeah, my stomach's growling. So it doesn't growl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it doesn't growl. So I keep saying I'm going to move on, and I don't. All right, let's just stop. It's, see, I'm, I'm wanting to get more shape in it. All right, I said stop, and I'm not going to. Maybe, maybe. Part of it's probably because I'm talking. You have inner turmoil. I do have inner beak turmoil. <laughs> <laughs> That's not doing what I want it to do. All right, move on. Move on. Should we work on the ears a little bit and pull out another color? Yeah. Those ears are cute. Yeah. Are they? I was going to ask you, Em, are they in frame? But uh, this is my they job. They are. Too. Yeah, they are. I can. I can see that they are. Yeah. You know, I'm doing better because I the first live or two, I was always looking at the chat. and Because I'm like, I'm excited that people are here. I want to talk to them. <laughs> um, but I'm doing much better now. My job here is to paint. And I'm liking the eyeball better. I just think sometimes it's kind of like a friend who you really like, but you just went on vacation with, you need a little time away. It's a little like that. I just have to step back from it. I like to go get a hot chocolate or a vanilla chai. I have a little Keurig. I love my little Keurig. Emily gave it to me for Christmas or birthday. I can't remember which. It's red. It's red. It's It's cute. It's a one cupper. I don't like the pods. I I'm know. Like, you know, you throw them in the garbage. Mm-hmm. But the single serve definitely fits my style. I don't think Keurig does, but I I swear the Nespresso, which is, you know, like the expensive Keurig, like more expensive than a Keurig. I'm picturing George Clooney. He does some of their commercials, and so does <laughs> Danny DeVito. 
Um, I think they send you a box and you can like recycle, keep them all and send them back and recycle them. But I don't know if Keurig does that. Oh, why'd you get me a Keurig? <laughs> because an espresso is so much more expensive. <laughs> yeah, that, no, I love my Keurig. Yeah, he's cute. He's giving you a hard time. I don't know if like an espresso is a espresso machine. I don't know if it makes I, chai lattes. I don't drink coffee. I don't, yeah, I don't, don't know. So that's much grayer. We need, but. So one thing I like to do is I kind of came in on this ear with the background. And then, here, let's just do one. Should we give him a wild hair, a wild feather? So, and it's going to dry a little darker, and then you kind of get little, there's a good one, little wispies going over. That just is sort of, am I making sense? So it blends in with the background one, but it also looks... I guess just like it blends more in the, with the background with less work. I think that's all I want to say. <laughs> I do have a hard time painting and talking. Who was I watching that talked all the way through super coherently and painted? It was like, wow. So this uh, raw sienna We'll make a really pretty creamy color. Is that on camera? Oh, it's way on camera. That's mm -hmm. one thing about the little six by six is everything's on. Yeah, you've got, we see a little bit of the brushes you're working with. Oh, are they in? See your palette knife at oh, the here. top. I'm gonna get Liquitex as a sponsor. Oh, okay. <laughs> it won't pop in. Oh, there we go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I use, I think I have one golden tube maybe. I like that they're tubes here. I don't know if I can show you. Stand, like that's so that it's easy to store. I just have them on a shelf. I mean, you could hang them like on a wall because they've got a hole like they do in the store. Mm -hmm. Okay. How much time am I? I've talked a lot about stories instead of painting. We, it is 12.52. You always do that. I'm like, okay, we start at 12. Oh, so we're almost an hour in. Yeah. You make me think. Huh. So I'm having trouble with too much paint on my brush. Well, that scooped up nicely. Mm -hmm. That was a Bob Ross happy accident right there. Is it thick or I'm just... Oh, I hope you didn't hear my stomach there, guys. I didn't, so. Oh, yay. You know what? So black's so strong. But that'll make a darker brown. You don't necessarily have to put out, I think the burn number's a little richer. It's a little muddier. Oh, we could put a little, you probably, you could make your own brown if you didn't have burnt umber or a good brown. Of course, then you should, shouldn't always mix with your brush because then it loads it up. And it gets up into the ferrule, which I've mentioned before. That can shorten its lifespan. Gosh darn it. I want to use this brush and I'm having a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Does gosh darn sound really mad? <laughs> yeah, fear, you sound darn. furious. <laughs> Eh. Move on, I'm fighting it. I'm also trying to paint straight up so people... Mm. Oh, there was my stomach. Oh, I heard it. Did you I hear heard it. Video? it. Uh, I don't know, but I heard it. It's going to do it again. <laughs> Okay. There. Let's just get in this shape. Instead of trying to paint it right the first time, let's just get in the shape. I'm gonna flip it again. All right, where's, oh, I didn't really draw it in. So it's dark here. 
Oh, I kind of did. And that kind of goes like that. And then it kind of goes like this. Okay. Got so many things here I've covered up. Looks kind of like an angry eyebrow right now. Yeah, I'm bouncing. My thoughts are bouncing around a little bit, which isn't helping my painting speed. That is one thing about painting is you're, you're just like, okay, what color, mm -hmm. how light? Your biggest thoughts are what color, how light, where is it going? You know, then you maybe sing to the radio a little bit and then start over again. Or what podcast you're listening to. He kind of has an angry eyebrow. So it's more efficient to paint with the same color all over the place. But I kind of like to work in a section and get some values in there. Like that's way too light, but I'm too big. That's Okay, and then, oh, am I on camera? I'm kind of getting, yeah. Okay. I mean, your paint palette's a little high, but you're still in frame. There. Oh, that's probably so quiet that we heard it. I said there. <laughs> I am. <yeah. laughs> when I'm thinking, I don't talk very loud. Oh, look at that. Can you see my brush? Mm hmm It's like a hot mess. I wonder if my, um, where did I grab that from? Oh, yeah. So my burnt umber always dries out. It kind of comes out even drier. I think it's just the pigments in it. So I took just a smidge of water on my palette knife and stir it up a little bit. Here, we want this in frame, don't we? I don't know, or else I grabbed it from there and it's also drying. That didn't do anything. Well, maybe I'll be happier. I'm going to switch gears here. So Emily and I watched Cruella with Emma Thompson and Emma Stone. Mm-hmm. Um, cause it was on Disney. We're going to, we're watching Halloween movies. We do dinner together once a week. And then I come over on Sunday too. Um, I really liked it. I don't know if you guys like to watch Disney movies, but gosh, it was, what would you, how would you describe it? It was cute. They, I thought. It was campy. It was campy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could even, depending on your mood, you could think that they were super overacting, but I thought it was just fun. Mm hmm I liked it a lot, yeah. It was like a, I feel like it's not deep into October enough to watch the the best of the best. Focus, focus. Yeah, so I was like, well, we need to start out with one that may be not so great, and then it ended up being really good. Yeah, I really liked it. I liked it. It wasn't very, like, Halloween-y or anything. It's just no. Cruella. It was like, it was, um, because, uh, mansion was a little creepy yeah because i have the disney plus subscription so that's where we get like we usually watch haunted mansion and the hocus pocus is on disney plus oh is it yeah. yep and the yeah. Um, yeah that's yours i don't have that yeah but um so that was in their like halloween section that they had set up and i was like hmm maybe we'll start slow and then on sunday we watched practical magic which i've never seen and Sand I didn't. Sandra like Bullock, Stalker Channing, the other gal. Nicole Kidman? Is that who Oh, that Nicole was? Kidman's the young one with um, Sandra Bullock. Mm -hmm. And Stalker Channing was the older, dark hair witch. Is that um, R Rizzo? Rizzo. In, in Greece. Greece. And then the other actress that was she her sister. She looks so familiar. Yeah, I don't know who she was. We could probably look it up. I'll look it She's up. She's somebody. 
Yeah, there were names in it. Well, and the, the handsome detective guy is somebody, but I don't. Oh, I didn't recognize him, so he's a somebody for you. Yeah. Well, not a, I don't know, not a, not a ton of movies. Or, of course, I'm not a big movie goer, even though it sounds like we do. Mm-hmm. But I did not, I didn't like, I mean, it was fine. It just wasn't that great. It oh, felt it was like, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, it had five stars on, um, on, like, the Amazon movie thing that we rented it from. You know, it would be great for kids. Really? I don't think it's oh, be great. Oh, no, for I guess it was kind of gross, wasn't it? Well, it wasn't gross, but it just wasn't like, I don't think, like, it was it's slow. Dark. It was weird, but it was slow. But, like, I felt like it was like, it was trying to be kind of like kitschy, funny, but then it was like weirdly dramatic for a second. And then it was like trying to be ooky spooky. And it just didn't, I don't know. I think it's probably really good in what, 1998? Is that when it came out? Came out? Yeah, I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, it, it, let's see. It came out. If anybody's seen it, help us out here. Let's see here. It came out in 1998. Wow. Way to hit that on the <laughs> Well, I have, you know, I don't remember stuff, but I happened to see that. I thought I saw that. Oh, Diane Weist? West? Weist? Um, that's um, the that's other weird. aunt. She is in, let's see here, Birdcage. She's Louise oh. in Birdcage. Huh. Um, she's in, oh, that's what I know her from. She's in Edward Scissorhands. She's Peg. Oh. She's the, um, mom. Oh, yeah, I have never seen that. In Edward Scissorhands. Um. I'm paying slower She's I'm another some other things. Oh, go ahead. She's, in, oh, she's just in a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, she's been in a lot of things. Well, yeah. Stalker Channing was the wife in West Wing, or the president. Oh, of, she was? Um, 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 Martin Sheen. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. And then the um, the other guy, what's his name? Aiden Quinn. What is he in? Oh, that's the detective. Yeah. yeah is that the guy you were talking about? I the name, but I, I don't think he's been in a ton of things, or I just didn't want, happen to watch whatever he was. I thought you were talking about that guy. I was. I just don't okay. know. I just recognized him, but at the same time, I don't think he was like Stalker Channing, mm -hmm. you know, Sandra Bullock. Oh, yeah. I don't think he is. No. Let's see. I'll see if... I hate to say that, though, because he could have been in a million movies I just didn't see. Oh, he's in, like, a million things, but, like, I don't recognize any of it. Yeah. Um, I'm getting putsy here. Hmm. Okay. I'm not liking that, but we'll just keep moving on here. But yeah, I didn't care for it. No. Like, I felt like they never, they could have stuck with either, they never, like, fully told any story and they, like, rushed into everything. They tried to put a lot in a little, in a little amount of time. Yeah. It was a long movie, but still. I feel like they crammed a lot of stuff in there. I remember looking at you, I don't know, a quarter of the way through. Mm -hmm. Like, are you liking this? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I didn't dislike it. It was like, okay. It wasn't that great. Cruella was so much better. Yeah. But Cruella is also current, so it's going to have more action. Yeah. It's going to move like a current movie. Yeah. But I think I'm going to, I'm trying to paint detail on that brush. Maybe it's because I'm mixing with it. Let's switch. I've been fighting with it for a whole conversation there. I was trying to use a little bit bigger brush to go faster, but... You know, I wasn't really liking Dusty the donkey that I did. Oh, and was leaving. <laughs> I wonder if we have a problem. Anyway, I was uh, the Dusty donkey that we did live with a traceable. Now I really like it. I think you just get too close to your paintings. But I've got them in a frame. It's really cute. I'm listening to see what Emily's doing. Elder. What happened? I swore that I um I heard like the top two because I the top like two steps on the house creak. And I thought I heard dad. So oh. I was like, is he home? You know, <clears throat> there's a lot of creaking that goes on in this house. I know. As we're talking Halloween. <laughs> I'll be downstairs and it's like, hmm. Yeah, I was like, that's a little weird. So I went and I, 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 I mean, I thought he was here and I didn't want him to scare you because if you don't hear him, then 
Oh, then I'll squeal then right you'll in my squeal microphone. And you're in the mic. Yeah, so I was going to go see if I saw him and then talk to him so you'd at least know that I'm talking to somebody. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. But I didn't. But it was just nothing. a ghost. It was just nothing, yeah. Yeah, this house creaks. Yeah, I never liked that about this house. I wouldn't, there was like a point, there was like a certain age where I wouldn't even go downstairs, like on the main floor, past, like if everyone was asleep. Because I was like, oh, everything creaks. I don't, I do I can not tell stories, it. but I don't know if you'd be okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything that, I don't recognize anything that that guy's in, but he looked familiar. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. I keep mixing the same color, hoping it's going to be different, just to, in case you guys didn't notice. <laughs> You know, just... You're doing just, the same thing over and over again and expecting and different, different outcome, yeah, isn't it? Like, what is it? The definition of insanity or Thank something you. like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I keep kind of... It's getting there. So you know what? It will make me happy, which I don't... I usually save the... Well, the whites for last, but let's do this. Let's grab... Let's put this in. Let's see, where does it go? It goes here. Oh, he's got a little. Let's exaggerate that. Yeah, I like October. I like that we watch, we watch mm -hmm. Halloween movies. I like Haunted Mansion. Is that the Eddie Murphy one? That's, yeah, that's the Eddie Murphy one. We haven't watched that one in so long. We watched it last, last year. Last year, I'm like, oh, that was good. Mm -hmm. Casper. Casper. That was another one that we hadn't watched in forever. Well, you know, I was going to kind of grouse a little bit about how I like to putz and I'm doing it. But you know what? I <laughs> That's actually different than some of the other artists I watch on YouTube. So maybe that's a good thing. A little different perspective, different point of view. Let's grab a little. So I'm just going to mix right on the fly, right in my little puddle there. Puddle there. So I tend to paint the shapes like a paint by number, which is probably horrible to say as a professional fine artist. That is not horrible to say because I Oh, think, I know people who don't like well, that. Right in the beginning of the chat, someone, um, a Dan, not Dan, the our, our Dan. Our Dan? <laughs> but um, Another Dan? Yeah, not um, Art of Dan, a different Dan, asked if this was a paint by number. Oh, yeah. Because it's, I, I mean, you perfect, you, you draw it out and then you transfer it on there, so. Well, and All if, the you lines don't, if you don't know how to draw, do that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I'm using a traceable for this one, one, because it's kind of complicated. It'll, well, so I use a traceable a lot because it'll speed it up, because I'm in the business of making money with my art. Well, yeah. and as somebody that doesn't or hasn't painted in forever but mm -hmm. I would probably do that route because I my what I hated was like I would draw it like on the canvas or I would draw it on the canvas board and it just never erases that great no so I would rather much rather draw it out on like something and, and there's texture on that so I'd rather draw it out on something I'm more comfortable drawing it out on and then transfer it to that yeah is what I think I would so I would totally use traceable um well a paint by numbers could that could be a great way to start i don't know of any brand if anybody knows any brands or that they like you know it takes some of the everything you need to know out of it so that you can start someplace i mean you can start anywhere you like when i shouted out robbie's channel because he has a drawing channel you know if you know how to draw it does help your painting But I know plenty of painters who are self-taught and never, maybe took drawing way down the road, you know. Well, and I think the masters use some sort of projection. I've heard other artists talk about that. It just depends. It just, you know, it's like any profession. There's people who, you know, have shoulds and thinks and whatever. And I'm like, eh, whatever makes you happy is the whole point. Keep 
crab in the color. I don't really have it. Maybe, kind of. I've been on that soapbox before. I mean, just do what works for you. Eventually, down the line, when we're when we have that studio deck type system, you know, for the lives, um, we'll have like special banners. And when you get on a soapbox, <laughs> I'll put like this banner around the frame, the video frame, and it says "and soapbox" or something yeah, like mute, that. Mute, mute your sound. Turn your sound down. <laughs> You know, I could be a politician, but I really don't. I don't remember the details. I paint details, but I don't remember them. So someone to ask me, like, you know, who's whatever? I'm like, I have no idea. You know, who's the prime minister of whatever? Who's the the president of whatever country or the? You know, I don't even know what they're called. I'd be terrible at it. You'd need like the um, how Andy and Emily and the Devil Wears Prada have to study the. Yeah. binders of books and then they stand next to Miranda and whisper in her ear who's coming yes, up to her. Yes, I would need. That would be you. <laughs> yes, I, well I don't want to be Miranda but yes that would be yeah. me. Yeah, help. So I think part of what's happening here is I'm looking for colors that I can't get so I just need to paint the values. Or put out paint if I don't want to. It'll end up, I think it'll end up looking more unified in the long run if I just stick to these guys, these colors. That's way lighter than I want. Bonita is obviously on the traceable train because she said, I'd hate to see an owl eye painted with no traceable. <laughs> oh, well, I use them. I mean, I use them. It speeds things up, you know. I use them and I sell them in a gallery. So, I was going to say, so there. It sounds so kind of there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't mean it quite like that, but. So, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get ourselves in trouble and offend people. <laughs> I like. Just get really, like, elementary school about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. On the playground. Nan, nan, boo, boo. Oh, I'm going to chalk Thursday <laughs> afternoon with, oh, yay. with Gracie. I think I can say her name because we've said her name in the other videos. Yeah, she's been in them, too. She rang my doorbell. I was videoing. <laughs> She's like, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Like, oh, I, I. She's like, I know you're up there. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun to talk to her. I don't know if she was on her way home from school or. Okay, I just, I cannot chat and paint. I should just stop chatting. We're probably getting close to the end. Right? Um, we have 15, a little bit over 15 more minutes. So I guess close to the end and relative of how long you go, but. So even though I'm trying to get these values pretty close and I come back and change them anyway, so I think it's kind of funny that I do that. And then I'll, I'll come back and get feathers that go over the layers, you know. I kind of paint the shapes and I come back and mm -hmm. refine them. And I like painting fur and, and feathers because I like pulling, kind of like up here, or pulling the feathers over the background. Yeah, I like watching you block it out because then... You know, it kind of has looks yeah. ugly. <laughs> well, but then it's just like like a, that white is probably, you know, like the white that's kind of above his eyebrow is going to probably pull through behind some other feathers or whatever. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, and there isn't a right or wrong way to block it out. I just kind of... I kind of forget what I'm doing, especially if I'm talking and I bounce around. Well, bouncing around, I probably mentioned this, will help you unify the painting, you know, if you don't, like, get the eye just perfect and then get the wing just perfect and then you find out the values are wrong, you know. So that's why I haven't really finished the color in the eyes because I'll kind of see how the values look when you paint the color around it. So maybe I'll just do a little of that. It helps you. Um, Today, was it last time with the cow? I'm like, I put some green in, and when I got the, actually put the green next to the other colors, it didn't look green anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was actually a pretty good example. I don't know if you could see it, though, because that's such a big painting, we couldn't get close to it. Yeah, that was a tricky one. So I was trying to go for a little darker, wake up a puddle here a little bit, and I'm just... <laughs> 
That's going to be too much. That might not be dark enough, but it's close enough. I think we went through our talking points. Yeah, <laughs> we did. I was just thinking about what, um, how many weeks do we have left and do we need to watch one of the good ones tonight? Oh, well, your house, your choice. <laughs> I pay for dinner, you pick the movie. We we'll probably need to, I wonder which one we start. Maybe we'll do one that's not your fave. We'll do one of the Adams families. No, but not the one we watched last year because that's not the one I remember. Liking. No, that wasn't. I can't. I don't know what the other. I have. To, I'll have to look that up. <laughs> I make you work really hard for it, don't I? For a cheap dinner. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I choose the dinner, so. Yeah. Oh, well, that's true. Oh yeah. So I just as you kind of build it up, it gets better and better, and then when you get it close, you can see. Oh, it doesn't look so hot up close. It's not a bad thing. You just work on it. And you don't have to, I preach layer. I preach layers. You do not have to do that. It's just my thing, I like it. I'm picturing an art preacher now <laughs> in a Sunday church type thing. I've got a little thing I've kind of ignored there. There's a little gray spot I should probably put in. Let's see, it'll look better if maybe I grab a little, not better, but it'll remind me to, there's a little triangle there. And actually there's a little, let's put that in so I remember. Oh, it needs to be darker. If anybody tries this, let me know, and if it, like, I'm really upset you let me know or if you loved it let me know I mean it's it's just when I start getting enough comments and feedback it'll help me know I won't always do something that's like this one really isn't beginner but we can do more like the pumpkin if we need to I'll try to work it into the schedule especially once I get caught up caught up with work things. Eh, I don't really like that, but it's close enough. Emma, are you working on a hat? Yes. No, it's not, there's nothing <laughs> wrong with it. So my back's to Emily when I, on my art table here, and I can't tell what she's doing. Yeah, we can't hold hands this time. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like right behind me. Oh, we were, when, we were close. Yeah, we're close. Better like each other close. Um... So, yeah, so I finished the, which I didn't think about I, how hard it would be to um, use black yarn. Oh, is it hard to see? Yes. Oh. The, um, I kind of got the hang of it, but once I finished the brim and, um, so once I finished the brim and I stitch it to, I like um, do basically like a slip stitch or whatever. Um, I, uh, where was I going with that? Oh, yeah, um, I have That's to, hard. once, so then it's, now it's round and basically like a band that can go around your head. You have to make like a single stitch so then I can start the hat portion, the, the top of the hat. And um, it was so hard to see oh. where all of those slip, where, where the single stitches that I had to add were to then be able to do the like hat pattern on the top. Black hats cost more money. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I would just have to, I just got smart and figured out that I just have to like sit on the one side of the sofa and have the light on or do it during the day or something. You're you getting know? old. You can't see without the light I on. I can't. But this white <laughs> one, and that took me forever to finish because I kept being like, wow, I can't see it because I kept trying to do it at night. But once I got to the main part of the hat, it was pretty easy. But this white one I started last night and I think I'm going to be done with the brim before we're done here. So. The stuff you don't know till you try. Yeah, but I want to, the, the reason I wanted to do the black was because I want to bleach tie-dye it, and then I want to tie-dye this white one. 
and see how that turns out. Oh, I forgot to tell people in the intro that I have your skull earrings on. Oh, that's fine. I know, but they're so, <laughs> they are so cute. Are you taking one out? <laughs> yeah, because I can't find the back on it. Did the back already come off? Oh, here, let's take it to the try the other ear. I couldn't feel the back. Mm, if it's pressed really. Look at those. <laughs> they make me laugh. So they're kind of marbled. I don't know if I can. My fingers are red. Of course, that's a good contrast. <laughs> yeah, it is good. I was going to say, it's a good contrast. And then they just they hang down and dangle. They are so funny. I was warm because I knew we were going to talk about Halloween. Mm -hmm. I usually wear my, my paint palettes that you made. Oh, yeah. Put the paint Does he have like 20 earrings? I don't know, because you kind of, like, I kind of make a batch, and you're like, I like that one, and then either I modify it so it's a little smaller for you, or... Because I have a little head? <laughs> That's okay, we can tell people I have a little head. Oh, I finally, um, I just, because, like, you work so much farther ahead when, in the videos than when we put them up, I'd kind like of. to be 10 days ahead of you, but yeah. I haven't been lately. Um, but, uh, I was, I think it was the, cause you, you'll tell me like, oh, I mentioned in this video, blah, 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 blah. Um, I think it was the, is it the poppies that I think is the, finally the one, or is it the, one of the ones that's going up this week? You finally mentioned like, I have to pause and go away cause he's coming over to see if oh, my it hat. The, it was the fit, poppies. Yeah. To see if the hat fits on my head. And you called in the middle of my video. <laughs> I was talking. <laughs> it's all right. At first, that did bother me because I, like, it's just like I'm videoing. I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Now it doesn't bother me. I I don't think it stops until I actually hit stops. It just my phone's you know mm -hmm. flashing and buzzing and mm -hmm. and saying pay attention to me. Yeah, I do speed up at it when we're about done, don't I? Whoops, it's way too much black. Yeah, like I feel like you get a, like it's the first hour, probably of just settling in or whatever. And well, I don't normally talk and paint. I'm gonna get used. I'm gonna get better at it because we keep doing, doing it. Lives, yeah. And then you keep talking about how I need to not talk so much, and then we end up talking just as much. I know it. Because you're. I think I would even if we weren't doing the live just because you're here. You yeah. Don't, you don't live here. Just putting some gray down and we'll put some white over it. I keep kind of looking at my reference photo just a little bit. Yeah, I think I kind of get used to talking and painting. Eventually, my, for lack of a better way to describe it, my brain catches up or adjusts or I don't know. That's one reason why I watch the other YouTube artists, just to feel like I'm not too strange that I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta quit talking about it, it's not that big a deal. I'm getting better at it. Just like learning to paint. Oh, I got a compliment. I was at the, the gallery downtown in Omaha, Artist Cooperative Gallery yesterday. And Emily the gal said, oh my gosh, your videos and your marketing. Oh, really? And I'm like, that's my daughter. Aww. I talk. She does all the editing. She loved the room in the... Um, oh, because of the loud car? Yeah, yeah the ca our car. We were right downtown. Some muscle car decided it was time to <laughs> hit the gas, and then it backfired, too. And I don't tend to retake things. We just kind of go with what happens in life, mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of like with painting. Anyway, she, she was singing your praises. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, you do. I mean, all the thumbnails look good. You know it's my channel. Our channel. I always say mine. It is yours. Well, yeah, but I wouldn't be. I was doing little... Of course, that one little crappy cow video that's three minutes gets has like 8,000 <laughs> views. No music. That one's all you. <laughs> no talking. You yeah. Know, and I would be doing that, you know, because it does help people like to see it you mm -hmm. know? especially with the pet portraits people like to see the video when it's done mm -hmm. um, but it, i wouldn't be doing all the things that we're doing if it wasn't for you oh well thank you but I, yeah but, yes. but you'd be doing it like if i just disappeared you'd be doing it without me though well now i, I would. set you up yeah you set me up well i do a little bit of editing 
just mm -hmm. minor editing in, yeah. in uh, iMovie because it saves you a little bit of time. Yeah, that helps. I cut out all the sound when I'm not talking mm -hmm. or when I'm singing badly because <laughs> I'm the only one in here and I know it's a time lapse section. Mm hmm. Whoops. So a lot of times I think I grab the right value and I don't. Just go back and I'm going to put a little. Eh, I like that. And I'm thinking about making this black even though it isn't. And then painting over it. You can exaggerate what you see in the photo. I'm so, so I haven't figured out with Pixabay, but I, you know, we've started showing the photos on YouTube. Because I, I worry about the copyright issues and I, you know, one, don't want to get in trouble and two, don't want to disrespect the photographers. I think we're okay. I couldn't find on Pixabay that we couldn't do it. Unsplash, it seems like we're totally okay. I love Unsplash. That's where I usually, that's the first place I go if I'm looking for some, an image that, like, something specific that I'm trying to draw or whatever. So here I'm painting by number. I'm literally going to just... It might be dark, but I'll come over it with some different paint, maybe. Oh, I know what I was going to do. We only have like a minute left, don't we? Um, we have four minutes left. Um, do we have people in the chat that want me to keep going? Do we? I don't know. You know. There's no chanting that you should keep going, going on, but I don't think they knew that they needed to. Well, that's why I'm asking. Them. Yeah. So we'll wait to see if anyone says anything in the chat. The thing for us too is, um, which we've mentioned, is it takes forever just for it to process. It takes 24 hours with the hour and a half video. Mm -hmm. And sometimes even the chat isn't working in 24 hours. You can't see the replay of the chat. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a little off here, but we're just going to do that. Oh, I wonder, do you, I know that some of the, Anita says keep going. All right. I don't know if you have the possibility, but I know that some of the um, podcasts that I watch that do live, they have the option to do polls. I oh, yeah, we, we can in the community. I can't. For some reason, I don't have the option to do polls, but I can do polls. Oh, in the chat? Yeah, or you can. Like, if I'm, I can pretend to be you. <laughs> You're confusing me. And then um, it, like, me as a moderator, my um, Emily account won't allow it, but the Annie account will allow it. Oh. So I can do a poll. And on the community tab, you can do a poll. I don't get much. I post on the community tab, but I don't get too many, like, any likes <laughs> or comments. <laughs> Um, but that doesn't mean people aren't seeing it, you know. Oh, you know what will be fun? Here, I'm going to put a couple in. Oh, I think my stomach's got a growl again. I just warn people. <laughs> yeah, now they know turn, to look, listen for it. Turn the volume. Well, turn the volume down. Okay. Let's take my lighter brush. Okay, in. I said, shall Annie keep painting? And I'm asking the community. Okay. Let's see if it works. Oh, you know, okay, this is probably pretty slimy. You know, um, two dollars and I'll keep painting. <laughs> you know, like you're coming here. Oh my gosh, yeah, like, a... like you're standing at a street corner busking and playing yeah. your guitar and singing. <laughs> Someone just throwing change at you. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's kind of so what funny. it feels like. Mm -hmm. I mean, it feels like a combination of PBS and. Um. But. What was I gonna say? Oh, sorry. I totally no. threw you. I can't remember. I can remember to get a different brush than over here. Oh, I guess like the no doesn't mean you don't. Cause like I said, shall you keep painting? Yes or no? And I, I as a person, I would feel bad saying no. But no doesn't. Yeah, that's true. That puts them on the spot. Yeah, but I mean, no could mean you know, it's time to go. No, or I'm tired of you. We do this every Wednesday, so it's not like yeah. you know they can leave any time. Of course, mm -hmm. maybe they have things to do and they don't want to miss it. That's what's great about YouTube. You can fast forward me, turn me off, never come back. I, don't <laughs> I mean, I don't, I'll miss you, but it's what, it's for you. 
whatever you want to get. YouTube. YouTube. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's for you. You got it. You nailed that on the head. Well, I mean, I really appreciate all the support, and I love the comments. It's like, so I put, like, little, it's a little head of schedule. I wouldn't say that for last, but I put, like, little, if you look on an iPad, you can see little wispies of feathers. You can put some of those in. I usually wait for that kind of stuff at the end. Sort of like a treat. I mean, that's a treat. It's like a candy bar. <laughs> Does that sound funny? Oh, my watch just went off. Okay, you have three votes for you should keep painting so okay. far. Well, this one, I knew this one wasn't a good one for me to demonstrate because, okay, here's where the split brush is nice. Can you see the split? It's kind of like using, some artists will use a fan brush for um, feathers and fur. I don't like to because I, it, I tend to want to make things in patterns anyway. Most people do. But this split brush actually gives me two, well, if it has any paint on it, it gives me two wispy feathers at a time. <laughs> there we go. And what can be fun is kind of just put a dot out there that's not connected. Okay, let's go back to the program here. Well, I still haven't figured out, um, some people have, when they have a lot more people, have the chat only be from members. Mm -hmm. Like, how do they do that? And then doesn't that offend other people? It's an option in the Is it? settings, yeah. But that's, I think, maybe like once, obviously, you probably have to have a membership for that option to pop up. Well, but I could see us maybe doing that. Oh, forever down the line. I think it's just to down prevent, like, um, uh, at least a lot of the people that I watch, I know they're members only because they are um, big enough to the point that people probably just hop in to say things. To troll. Yeah. Yeah. So they tend to. Well, then I could definitely it, see us do it. At least if, yeah, at least if, then if you're trolling, you're paying to do it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Oh, um, well, heck yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if Suzanne had to leave, but she did say, you guys did awesome today. I love spending time with you. Oh, thank you, Suzanne. I don't know if she's probably gone, but thank you, thank you. It's been fun to get to know you. Um, so do you just want to do like an extra 15 minutes then or what? Is Do you have like a... A thought pro like a thought of how long and I can mm. keep an eye for you no okay <laughs> probably just 15 minutes because okay. of the uploading okay oh a, a gal I follow I don't shoot I can't think of her channel name so I can't give her a shout out that's terrible um she is an art channel oh I'm liking his owl I kind of lean back I like his little wispies that you're giving yeah him. I mean he's underpainted for me but as I say all the time that can be done for many of you don't think you have to do the craziness that I do when I paint. Um, she uploaded a four-hour video. Oh, wow. She has, um, I don't think it's Australia. I think she has a UK accent. Mm -hmm. I'm not an accent expert. And she said it, I asked her, and she happened to respond. It took her 20 hours to upload. Oh, my gosh. How long does it take you to do an hour and a half-ish? Um, probably like oh, no, two you could probably hours. Uh, two hours? At least, yeah. We don't, we I've, don't I've do seen that them. Long. I've seen them go to three. Okay, sorry, I keep talking. Over. Oh no, you're fine. Um, I've been trying to keep them like twenty minutes, sometimes forty minutes. The forty-minute videos, depending on the day, it can be like an hour, hour and a half if my internet's really slow. That and that's if it doesn't like. It hasn't been lately. I think it was just because I was uploading them on the really old. Um, your old iMac. Oh, it wasn't the internet. It was, it was I think it was the computer because now I've been uploading them on my laptop and they're a lot faster. So mm. I think it was just the how, the, how cranky the Mac was. But, um, yeah. Well, but if the internet gets cranky, it takes longer. Yeah. I said, we've, my internet's been behaving lately, so. Mm. You know, I don't miss doing that. I did a little bit of that before you started helping me. Yeah, I've gotten smarter about it because I used to kind of save it to the end and then I'm just sitting around. But now I kind of, the first thing I do is I try to edit the videos and then I, um, maybe I edit one, start its upload, edit another. And then um, 
and then that's when I work on the short version that I send you for Instagram or the um, the thumbnail and then the tags and all of that stuff. So then I'm continuing. Usually if you give me a 20 minute video, by the time I'm done with all the doodads of that video, it, that one's done uploading and I can start the next one and all that. Oh, yeah. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah. Because I was kind of, I would kind of do it all in a row where I would work on one video, upload it, um, make the thumbnail, all that stuff all in so I knew I wouldn't forget anything. Mm -hmm. I've gotten a little more risky <laughs> in the sense of working on like two videos or three videos or whatever at once. And then and then they're, I'm working can, while I'm uploading. So then I'm not yeah. just sitting around and waiting for it to go. That is what I used to do, but that's just because of my to-do list, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I think I had a thought there. I lost it. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 it's not important. I just put some, this isn't the thigh, I just put some darker gray down so I could put some white over it. And I might put some more darker gray down. And I've got, I've got a good pattern going because I was listening to Emily, which isn't horrible. But I think we just want to, human beings just want to line things up in patterns. I don't know if it's, what that is. If that's our, our brain, that's like a, a brain thing, a hardwired thing, or like we've been in school so long, you know. I don't know. So I'll just change it a little bit. Well, yeah, there's a thought that was really sad. <laughs> I don't know what it was. It I can matter. backtrack. No, it'll come back to me. We're talking. It does take time. And I'm so glad you do that. And it's really not any fun. I like the... My... I think I... Uh, when I used to do your side of the editing, I did like that a lot less. So, oh, you mean like when I take out the the sound, sound and, and the yeah, yeah, that's pretty tedious. Yeah, I don't. I like the fun stuff of like when I like. Um, there's one that's put in the noises. <laughs> yeah, the noises are fun. Is it? Uh, uh, see now I because I've already were ahead of like I'm ahead of schedule. I'm I don't know what's gone up. <laughs> oh yeah, um, in there there's a. A pumpkin chalk video that is going up Friday? Yeah, probably Friday. On Friday. And um, there's, uh, you changed the angle at which you shot the video for the chalk. So we kind of catch the hallway um, outside the door. And Freckle walks by. And so I put a little, oh, yeah. I put a little thing that's like Freckles. <laughs> you know, I'm glad I almost didn't see because even the little notification goes pretty quick in the time. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't leave it because she's only in there for like a blip. And I, you know, I didn't want to leave this little thing that's like, well, there is no Freckles. So, true. Very so you got to, you got to catch it. So. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. I did catch it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was so funny. Yeah, I like it when you do that. Or like you pop in. Um, I you don't do it very often, but you've done it a couple times. Like, um, this is Emily. I do the oh, yeah, Emily. yeah. When you this is actually what's true, not what yes. she says. <laughs> when you've spoken on my name, maybe it's because incorrectly. I oh, is that what it was? Because like <laughs> the last time I remember is just when you were saying that I don't like when you call me favorite daughter, and in, oh, yeah. and I defended my honor, and I said I don't care. I just think it's smart that maybe people know my name as well, so they're not like. Um, excuse me, favorite daughter in the chat, can you? <laughs> That's very true. Very true. And I read it as you don't like it, which wasn't <laughs> true. You just didn't like that no one knows who you, the heck you are. Well, I just figure it's, um, it's fine if people call me it, but I figure people should also know my name. Yeah. Am I still getting it wrong? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you shouldn't work with family, huh? Uh, sorry, honey. I'm so kidding. It's around. fine. It's fine. Uh, the patience that it takes to work with your mother. It's nothing new. I'm sorry. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> it's hard to work with people too, but I would think it'd be harder to work with your parent. I don't think it's bad. I get you, so. <laughs> You're just like, ah, this, she's never going to get, it's kind of like I kept saying knitting for months, for weeks, months. Yeah, I just I, let it go. I got Eventually, it right I'm like, today. Yep. I say crochet. You did, right off the bat. See, I actually like this, but I think that's so boring to watch me putz with this, this little, 
Oh. Detail. Oh my gosh! Like uh, so you you have your videos running in the background. Oh, I just have one. You are on ad. Yeah, so there's a video and it's playing an ad. In the video, uh, or the ad, it's ad one of two. So you have two ads. And it is 11 minutes and 52 <laughs> seconds into the ad. I think, well, I don't know. It's AdSense. We'd pay. I don't know how we'd pay. I used to do it for clients as a graphic designer. They paid per click. So, like, mm -hmm. the ad would show up on the right side of a, U a Google search. Yes. But I don't know how the YouTube ads. Um, it's a it's a type of so like I don't because know what it costs. I am a Google Excuse search me. certified, Ooh, Google you, Ad Search certified. You, oh yes, you are. Um, it's uh it's a specific type of ad. So like once they added in once they added in ad <laughs> once they <laughs> added in YouTube and stuff like that. Um, they um, you can basically it's you can pay for a ad that would go before a video. So you pay a flat fee? Mm -hmm. And then there's different kinds that you can pay for. You can pay for ones that aren't skippable. You can pay for skippable. You can pay for, like, it'll pop up in that bottom bar thing of the on the video. Okay. Sometimes a little, like, ad pops in the... Oh, the different types of ads. Yeah. yeah. So it's a, it's, a, it's a specific ad to YouTube that you can purchase. I think the skippable... That's what we make money on. We don't really make money on anything else. Um, or penny, pennies. <sighs> I know that like the non-skippable are few and far between. It, I think it costs somebody, it costs you buying the ad more to do the non-skippable, but I think you make less on the non-skippable. Well, we could. Because they're only five seconds, you know? So what you want to do then is pay for a live because it's just flat fee and have a two-hour ad. <laughs> I hope someone sits through that. But then, but then, but then, does it work because I don't, I suppose I'd have to say in a live, hey, visit my art page. I have traceables. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. we have lives and we hang out and talk about movies or mm -hmm. food. Or we should talk about food. I think just the rule of thumb, though, is if the ad is, you know, that long, if you watched 30 seconds of it, I think whoever is paid out, like the YouTuber would be paid out. They add cents, I believe. I'm not sure I follow that's okay. Um, so I like if it's to. like an 11 minute video of an ad, yeah. as long as the ad viewer watched 30 seconds of it, I think oh, it gets paid out. You don't like, need the length. Yeah. Well, why would they do it? Like there's an artist that's just doing an art video and it's an ad and I'm like. Because yeah. it gets, it counts, because um, it weirdly it's links to that video. So it counts to the views. Because there have been. Um, oh, light bulb went on. Mm -hmm. There have been people that. Uh, I can't remember what it was, but I was I was seeing there's something that like, this is the most most watched like music video of all time or whatever, but it, it was only the most watched music video of all time or in X amount of time because the person had paid for an ad and but, stuck it in front of videos. They're paying for likes and views mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Well, I suppose we could do that, but that seems like. Nah. Uh, well, it seems like you're not going to really have anybody that's going to want to stick around. Yeah. Nah. I mean, you're just kind of like swapping comments for comments. Mm -hmm. So I'm using this little liner brush and I'm much happier, <laughs> but it's so little. <laughs> I like the outcome though of that. It. Yeah, well, and, but you got to keep going back and forth and mm -hmm. I just think that makes her poor YouTube TV, but maybe not. We're still learning. And I don't want people to feel like they have to do that. That's one of the reasons why I get a little nervous about it or talk too much about it. Mm -hmm. This still needs a little more working. I mean, it's probably too soon to put, unless they're in the wrong color, but I think I'll do it anyway. It is 144, so you have uh, a minute at our 15 minute mark. Okay. It went fast. It did go fast. Well, thank you for the, I forget, forget that you are Google certified, is that what you said? It's, it's just a search. So like when people like look up something in Google, 
and what makes that ad pop up or how people buy for that type of ad kind of thing. Yeah, I forgot you did that though. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, I've got a super knowledgeable person I could have been asking. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I have to find time to you know figure oh, it out. Figure it out. All right, guys. I when I miss, that means I'm gonna. Anita says he's coming oh. along nicely. Oh, thanks for coming, Anita, and thanks for your kind words. Maybe we need to do a so you can see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah, I'm seeing up close. Yeah. IRL in real life. Yeah, I love the tiny brush, even though it takes forever. <laughs> I know, me too. Well, that yeah, just, it looks it, pretty. that's part of my personality, which is funny because I don't remember details of a conversation or I'm terrible sometimes at telling stories and yet I love the little details in a painting. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out with, with us. I hope you had a good time. We kind of just want to have a happy little corner of the world here in the studio. Mm -hmm. Great big happy art hugs and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.